Mm. Oof. <laughs> I noticed it's garbage day. I didn't mean to go scrapping. No. Oh, we need to get started right now. Okay, so I got out of that neighborhood with just a Schwinn bicycle. It's actually a 10-speed. Yeah, it's a real Schwinn. So it's definitely seen its uh, fair share of riding. They're all flat tires and they're sun-beaten. But I thought I saw some metal across the street here dumped in the desert. Private property, huh? That metal? No, it's cardboard. It's like wood. It's, like a, it's a door. It's an old door. <laughs> no, that's like a cardboard type. No cars coming. <laughs> so just visiting with my mom for a little bit. And uh, having heart to heart conversations that aren't so easy. Good morning, scrap. <laughs> okay. So what I need to do is I learned that this was from a scrap farm, that this is pool netting. And there is all kinds of aluminum parts to that. So I need to remove all that. Now this Schwinn, it has an old style to it, but it's not old. You can tell by the type of brakes um, that this thing has. Um, some other things to it, you can just, it has, like I said, the older look, but it has been beaten up by the Las Vegas sun. That's for sure. So that is scrap. All right, now these are the aluminum poles. I, I took one of these apart. Um, so these are the aluminum poles that are all, all the screws in them. You can see there's screw holes, ding, 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 all the way down, which is, I'll show you this guy, if I can. You can see the screw holes right here. So, yeah, this netting. That's what this stuff is. That's, I mean, it's all aluminum. It's clean now because I, I even took the ends off. Oh, most of the ends. You see, they're all weather beaten. Okay, just come right off. <sighs> yeah, and that took a while. Um, and I, I did that at my sitting at my other place talking with a friend. I just grabbed my DeWalt drill and un, unscrewed them while we're chit-chatting. But that took, I don't know, 45 minutes. Um, of course I was chit-chatting with my friend. I don't know. See, I'm changing my mind as I'm going through here, is that I think I'm gonna take off stuff that's not shred, and I'm gonna do a test shred run at a different scrapyard, because I got wind that there's a scrapyard that's even closer than the one that's 45 minutes away. So I think I'm gonna do that. But also, you know, I don't wanna, like some of the scrapyards here are selling, you know, at like one and two cents a pound. I'm like, what? You know, but it's a supply and demand issue. You know, it's, there's so much supply here and they have to truck it off to either Salt Lake City or Los Angeles for it to get, um, for mills and things. There's no mills in Las Vegas. That's expensive to, to ship. So they're not going to pay very much for it. So that's just shred is not a uh, it's not a commodity here. It's not a profitable commodity that is. Okay, so this is going to be my test scrap run with uh, with this other scrapyard. So I heard they're okay, but they're closer than that far away one. I mean, all of the prices basically are half price of what they are in Illinois. So I guess it, um, 
I just need to go offload it. All right, I'll put the bicycle in here. Yeah, because I want to keep this fairly clean because if you notice it, it's just metal. I mean, there's a couple of things that aren't, um, but I want to see how they are with stuff that there's like no controversy of it being scrap steel. And this stuff is magnetic. All this stuff is. All right. Okay. Nothing gonna fly out. Yeah. Definitely brought some waters with me. Ah, best drink in the house. So, let's see how I can go in. So the office is this way, they say. I guess I'll go this way. I right, see a little guard shack right there. I guess that's where I go. I'm not sure. I just got a load of light iron. Light iron? Yeah. Okay. Paul. Right here? That one? Okay. So the, so the pile on the left.
getting back on the scale. There it is, 3740. What I like about this yard is it's clean. If you notice back there, the guy was sweeping. So the very the ground that we drive on is swept. Um, so it's all concrete or paved. So yeah, that's good stuff. All right, so it looked like 400 pounds at $60 a net ton for $10.71. And so I guess they rounded up to $11. Yeah, so they got that as light iron. Good stuff. All right, let's go get paid. Hello. I think he just put me in the system over there. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, so inside? Yeah. Does it matter which finger? All right, check this out. A much different receipt. It has my signature and my thumbprint um, <laughs> for 11 bucks. Much more squared away scrapyard. I'm pretty impressed. Yep, I like it. So everything goes to that main area, um, including non-ferrous and ferrous. Um, so just on the big scale would be the, the steel and that type of stuff. So yeah, I'm happy with this. Wait a minute. That was $60 per gross ton and not net ton that I'm used to. So I just divided the $11 that I got by the 400 pounds and it is 2.75 cents per pound. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that's, that's the fact, Jack. <laughs> yeah, we're not in Illinois anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. All right, so just doing the math, if I took that same um, 0 0.0275, which is the price per pound that I just sold that scrap, and multiply that by 2,000, which is a net ton, that would be $55 a net ton. So $60 gross ton and $55 net ton is the same thing. Huh. Interesting exercise. I'm so scatterbrained. I think I'll wait till in a few hours for me to have shade at my storage unit because it's just too hot yeah so i'm gonna drive around a little bit do some drinking of water this is terrible i like driving around neighborhoods and trash picking more than i do turning stuff in <laughs> not so bad Now this is an older neighborhood, really wide streets. This is Spring Valley. That's the, the big neighborhood right here. Yeah, this is older Las Vegas, probably built in the 50s and 60s. Yeah, probably 60s. Yeah. I have a feeling there are shocks in here. Sure enough, good stuff. Man, some heavy stuff right there. All right, this is brand new. Huh. Thank you, homeowner. Yeah, these look brand spanking new. They still got the stickers on them. Huh. 
now someone's like, those are worth a bunch of money. And actually, to me, they're worth 2.75 cents per pound. <laughs> Good. Thanks, folks. Okay, I need your help with this one. There is an air conditioner on the curb. But barely on the dude's property. Wow. Now, you guys see that line right there? That's a lot of coil. Yeah. All right. Yep, I'm going to knock on the door. A park and knock. All right, let's go see what this guy has to say. I notice you have some stuff on the curb. Huh? Is that something? Is that yeah. okay for you to take? Yeah, whatever awesome. you want to take. Thanks, Thanks man. Appreciate All right. it. All right. All right. All right. Have a good day. If you help load something, let me know. Okay. No, I think I pretty much got it. Just going to okay. put it right yeah. in. Yeah. Free, cool, free whatever you want. Thanks, Salvation Army is going to take care right. of it. So, Appreciate it. All, all right. right. No problem. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Because the bottom is heavier, um, I want to get the heavier part towards the truck. like actual dirt. It's gonna be forty dollars at the scrapyard. So I'm excited. Yay! Yeah. And knocking on the door, I'm like, is that stuff like good to go? He's like, take it. All yours. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. That was a little bit of a workout. So I'm gonna turn around. So I was watching Mr. Scrappy this morning, and he was just talking about. 
being a scrapper, a lot of it has to do with just dumb luck. Just getting there before the next guy does. But it's about being out there. Yeah. So, good stuff. I'm gonna drive by this lady again. Wave at her. I sure do like the ladies. Yep. Pretty and smell good. <laughs> ah, I see something. little piece of, is that aluminum? Probably steel. Thank you to the viewer that gave me the second magnet. Yeah, it's steel. One on each side. You. <laughs> Guess what I just rolled up on? Oh yeah. How's it gonna fit? Small truck problems. written all over it doesn't it so does that little piece First. Exactly sure how to situate this. Hmm. Hmm. I pulled away from where I got it, which was right over there. Just don't want to make a bunch of racket right in front of their house, and yeah, pull up in front of someone else's house to make the racket. <laughs> Hey! Even though that stuff never happens, you just gotta think it will, you know? Alright, so we got 
few inches, it's not going to work. Nope. Plus, it's jamming up against that wheel well, too. Yep. All right. So, I'm just going to get a strap and strap it down. I just tilted it and closed the tailgate. I think it's pretty jammed in there. There's no way that's going to come flying out. Yeah. We're good. Ah, just in case. All right. Boing. Did you guys see Dumpster Marcus? He did a review of a bunch of different wire cutters. All the way from these compound wire cutters to cable cutters to linesman's pliers to just regular old hey what's going on here does this thing spin down so uh yeah and even those like long tail long neck <laughs> pliers it it was super good super good so i just stopped at the upper room that's what i call the place that i'm staying I tell you one thing, the three bottles of water that I brought this morning, well, it's not even noon yet, it wasn't enough, so I just got two more. And we'll go visit my mom again. Yeah, she's doing so much better. She's uh, Yesterday, she was able to stand, and holding on to her physical therapist, she was able to walk 44 feet. That is huge. So I met with her with the care team i'm not sure if i mentioned that earlier or not she, yeah so met with the care team and just discussed you know how this whole thing works because i don't know how it works weird thing that i did yesterday super weird i went clothes shopping for my mother yeah <laughs> so i bought her a couple capri pants a couple tops she likes that the tunic style you know that where the t-shirt kind of covers the bottom and uh, got her some socks and other stuff. So yeah, it was um never done that before. I'm just wondering if every time that I pull up into the rehab, people are looking out the windows. What is that guy? All right, mom's is doing good. Thank you, God, and thank you for the prayers. Huge. I'm so scatterbrained right now. I'm, I'm thinking now to go back to the storage unit, take that air conditioner off, put that other, that stove that I have, and these two washer, washer and dryer, and then whatever else will fit, and take that to the scrapyard. We'll see if that changes. Okay, so this guy, because it has that aluminum, copper aluminum radiator in there, so we get taken apart at a different date. But these things have to come off, and this thing comes off, and then I want that big oven in here with these appliances. I'm not sure if I can do that. Probably should measure beforehand, huh? <laughs> uh, nah. I found some WD-40 yesterday, and so I WD-40'd all my my ratchet straps a little smoother definitely definitely smoother sure is easier getting stuff off the truck than putting it on the truck <laughs> that's for sure I'm still blown away by these things brand spanking new There's just a lot of sand in this. Yep. I was driving, there was like this cloud of brown sand coming off of it. Okay, so next time you're going back on the truck, Pally Wow, you're gonna be stripped down. 
Where are you gonna go anyway? Right here? Then I'll get that in here? I think so. Hmm. Oof. <laughs> Brakes work. <laughs> All right, mister. You, get in there right now. Hey, it worked. Huh, that was easy. I need to do that more often. Hmm. Oh, I just messed them up, didn't I? I grabbed a big old bite of that. That actually could be tin. No, that's galvanized steel. I'll miss that later. Got some room now. Steel. That was a bright flash. Alright. Where the steel can I put in there? Hmm. Seriously, could this be like one of those, those radar dishes that could like fry a That's probably cast or it could be brass. Huh. Well, that's steel. That's steel. Some parabolic action here. I'll send signals to the aliens. With it being about 1 p.m., I have a little bit of shade right here that I can stand here and just zone out. Duh. <laughs> yeah. So, let's go about here. Can I get both washer and dryer in that space? You did before, Paul. That's true, I did. Okay, let's do it. this guy up. Uh, hey, open. Mister. Really? You're not going to open up at all? No. Oh well. As long as I can get a lot of the weight on there, I'll be able to pick it up and kind of maneuver it around. And this is the dryer, so it's lighter. It's 
not quite the center, is it? Nope. I need to dry some of this stuff. A little too wet for me. Is that stainless? Might be. we can find that'll fit in there. good okay I was able to fit it in I can't fit them flat because of this wheel hump you see it's on top of so they had to tilt okay Let's see what other stuff we can cram in here okay oh dirt from that uh, that same air conditioner Okay, I think you're ready to hit the scrapyard. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. All right, second trip of the day. Uh-oh, is the big truck going on the scale? I hope not. Kind of like sneak in all fast. Be one of those little four-wheelers. Nope. Three forty, sweet. Sixty, something like that.
right so last time i was here the guy said it's a one-way scale so i can only drive one direction like okay and 37 something 37 40 37 20 all right, so this is the way ticket um, from the scale. So it looks like 640 pounds for 17 bucks. So they round it to the nearest dollar. Okay, cool. All right, let's go get paid. Thanks, Scott. Hello again. Do you need my ID every time? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm cool with check, too. Yeah, actually, check. Because I just use my phone and it deposits immediately. <laughs> All right. So you probably heard that in there. I. So this, any time you're in here for a second time, they'll pay you by check. And uh, I, I totally actually prefer check because it can go right into my uh, bank account and I can do more things with it, you know, if it's in my bank account. So yeah, so check this out. So the check was for the $17.14. I would have gotten cash $17. Interesting. I just made 14 cents. Woo! <laughs> so thank you, Lord. Thank you for a good day. Thank you for water today. Yeah, thank you for having commenters remind me to drink plenty of water. And it just made this day happen. God, that scripture that you, you have, <laughs> it keeps on running in my head. It says that when we were young, we could go where we want to go and do what we want to do and we could dress ourselves and when we're getting when we're old that we won't be able to dress ourselves and we won't be able to go where we want to go and people will lead us where we just don't want to be Whew. that was written 2000 years ago almost and it's still true today